So technical difficulties are already fun. <laughs> so technical So technical difficulties are always fun. Uh, this is our second go around at shooting this video. Well, my second go around shooting this video. Uh, did not get to do the last one because our audio went out. So now we get to do it again and taste our delicious delicious mead one more time welcome to TK and drinks we got a special edition coming at you today this is the review of the big lost meaderies wild man and crazy woman this was sent to us by Sam and the people up there at the big lost meadery in Gillette Wyoming they are potential new clients for uh, for customers I'm not quite sure how that works but potential new business partners for TK and drinks distribution. They're looking to get here into Arizona, distribute their stuff a little bit uh, wider than they got going already. So we thought we'd give them a shot, give them a drink, see what we think, and you know, do the thing we do here on TK and drinks. A so, drink, I think. Uh, a drink and a think, something like that. So this first one is the Wild Man. Now this is a 18% sweet traditional mead made with hops so I don't know if that's a traditional it's called an OTS other than standard traditional I guess is what that stands for but uh, so this one is their um, I guess their flagship mead like their biggest ooh, excuse me their main product that they do a little more <laughs> Oh, excuse me, I got the hiccups all of a sudden. Get that going up there, if you can see that. There's lots of legs on that thing right there. It's creeping down the glass. It's all sorts of sugars left over. Is that 18%? Yeah, this is an 18%. Um, again, sweet, super sweet mead. It says... It does not say on there, but... I can guarantee you that this is a sweet mead. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You can see that now a little bit better than we did before, but we got lots of the drips coming down. So that's going to mean there's lots of honey. Now, when I spoke to uh, Sam up there, he had said that they use, I can't remember, some astronomically large amount of honey in their uh, in the making process of this. So... I would expect that to be very uh, leggy like that. So it'd be a very full-bodied mead, especially for something this light. The smell definitely has a very odd aroma to it. It might be the hops mixed in with the uh, traditional fermentation uh, of the honey. It might just be something from the filtration process. It might just be the, you know, whatever it is. But yeah, the aroma's definitely got this uniqueness to it, I would have to say. Uh, <laughs> what's that face you got there? It's it's not bad, but it's just, to me, it smells like alcohol. I was just going to say, I was starting to pick up a lot of alcohol in the nose there. Especially like putting it in like you take a deep breath before you drink. It's like, oh, I don't want to drink it. It smells and tastes like alcohol. Yeah, it's definitely yeah. got some of that chest warming going on in there yeah. too. It tastes it better than I expected to from my <laughs> breath taste. From your breath taste? <laughs> when, when I breath tasted when it. When I smell when taste. I, when I smell tasted down my breath taster. Yeah, that. Yeah. It, um... Yeah, definitely comes across as boozy, at least initially, and these have breathed for a couple days too, uh, about two days now, three yeah. days, and it's, um, certainly hasn't gotten any milder or any stretch, it hasn't lost any uh, flavor, hasn't lost any potency, none of that, it's definitely smacking just like it did when we opened it. Yeah, now you definitely get the honey flavor in there, you do get the hops in there, um, it doesn't like Lauren was saying, it doesn't taste nearly as funky as you would think it would, uh, given the aroma. It doesn't um, doesn't smack you with the booze, 
Uh, it, yeah. You definitely it, it gives you the chest warm, but it doesn't. It's not as boozy as you would think it was would be if you're, given the smell. If you're not a drinker, it's boozy. <laughs> well, again, eighteen percent is expected to be a little bit on the I'm, stronger side. As someone who does not drink on the regular, mm -hmm. it's boozy. You're bougie, what? Yeah, uh, yeah. As a non-drinker, it's definitely I'm boozy. Well, let's no, get in. it doesn't taste bad, but let's get into the second one. Here, finish that. This is gonna be the crazy woman. We're gonna hit up with the hibiscus and hops on this one. Again, it's gonna be another eighteen percenter. Um, sweet, just like the other one was. I guess I'm finishing this. So. Let's go ahead and get a, let's give her a little baby glass, and yes. me a little baby glass, because I'm going to have to finish her little baby glass. Yes. See, like, my chest is even still warm. Which is, I know, is not really your thing. It's not my thing. If we were, like, sitting outside camping, I think, you know, it would bother me a hell of a lot less, the fact that I still feel the, the chest The chest warm. warming. Yeah, if you were outside somewhere cold, it would be nice to have that. Now, like I said, these guys are in Gillette, Wyoming, so I'm sure they have plenty of cold nights. Right, And yeah. this uh, Big Lost Mead helps keep them warm and uh, uh, thawed out on the inside. I, I <laughs> Make sure they like, don't freeze over. I do like the flavor, which is surprising because it's hot. So it's this like... one, again, just is leggy. I don't know if you all can see that, but... We got lots of lots of legs going on. Yeah, this one is a beautiful, absolutely beautiful color. It's a very lightly saturated, dark, dark pink, light red color. To red, I would say it's a red. Most well, definitely red. I guess when you when it thins out a little bit, good refractivity on it. It's like a got that mirror like quality to it. I can see myself in it. Hello, Cell. How are you? I already know a mixed drink. Well, part of mixed drink idea is coming to mind with this. A mixed drink? Well. Yeah. yeah, I have. It's it's, it's forming because Sprouts has loose hibiscus tea, mm -hmm. which is mainly you know hibiscus flower petals. Yeah. And do a simple syrup with that. Gotcha. Now this one. To bring out the hibiscus in it. Now this one is a lot milder on the aroma. It doesn't have nearly as um, funky. It doesn't have that. Uh, that yeah, definitely doesn't have that alcohol aroma. It doesn't have any. Um, it's like the hibiscus kills all whatever the, like, that the funky. Alcohol yeah. Yeah. You get some fermentation in there on the back end, but yeah, you definitely some floral burst there from from the hibiscus. And signals. <coughs> Certainly a lot smoother than the other one. Still got a little bit of that bite to it, but uh, the flavor is very, very smooth. Um, doesn't come across as the 18% like that one does. It doesn't give you that whole uh, super chest warmy or anything like that. It doesn't uh, smack you in the face with uh, any alcohol aroma when you're taking a drink of it. Um, definitely heavy on that um, on that mouth feel, though. You feel like it's in your mouth for a long time. It has a very memorable. Uh, both of them have a very memorable mouth feel. Like you, like sit, you know, 10, 15 seconds later, you can still feel it in your mouth. Just, man, that flavor just sticks around for a while. The first one um, wasn't uh, wasn't a huge fan of that one. Maybe I'll make the hibiscus syrup in that. <laughs> oh, you know, that might be all right. Hey, you know, I, anything to party up the drink. You know what I'm saying? It's not bad. It's just. Uh, I would prefer it in a different version, I guess, yeah. form. Well, I mean, that that is it in a different form, isn't it? I mean... Uh, I'm not sure if they have the same base in them or not. If that's the case, then yeah, definitely that hibiscus covers up and remedies whatever was going on with that first one. Yeah, I want to make, like, some hibiscus simple syrup and, like, fucking Malibu and this shit and have a party. Malibu and hibiscus? Yeah. Why the fuck not? That sounds amazing to me. Hey, Maybe if we make cherry jello shots with this one. Jello shots? Yeah, see, now that'd be good. Like, I think that would make a good mixer there, because 
got some kick to it already, so you wouldn't have to mix it with anything too strong to... Yeah. And the flavor's not bad. No, it's just not bad. It's just intense. Um, yeah. I'm surprised that I remotely like it. Yeah, right. Well, I did a quick little score sheet on these just to, uh, just so we got something for the record. I think I might be getting away from filling these out, moving towards a different, uh, a different medium for scoring something a little more TK in drinks. But until that time, this is what we're using. So on a scale of 50, five stars, three out of five, whatever you want to call it. That's what I'm going to call it because I gave it a 30 out of 50 for the wild man. Um, again, that flavor wasn't uh, nearly as funky as that aroma was, but it's certainly not my favorite uh, aroma of anything that I've had. The hops flavor is good, very full body, very long, memorable mouth feel on it. If you're not into honey and hops, you're probably not going to like this one because it slaps you with both of those in full force. Yes, absolutely. And going on for the crazy woman, I'll give that a 3.6, whatever you want to call that, 36 out of 50. That, um, again, I like that one better than that one. Still full bodied, still long, memorable mouth feel, but the hibiscus definitely covers up um, any funkiness and it's very uh, smooth and easy to drink compared to the other one being um, a lot more warming chest feeling alcohol smelling all that type of stuff so if i was going to say hey pick up one of the bottle one of these two bottles i would say go for the hibiscus one myself but uh from what i understand this other wild man is wildly popular i got lots of people lots of feedback from uh, lots of different people about that one saying it was one of their favorites they have stopped by there every time they're in wyoming so they make a great product as far as that goes as far as popularity goes so yeah. I'll be doing something right. I'm Can't excited go wrong to make that. some mixed drinks with it. It's going to yeah. be fun. I think it would definitely be fun to make some mixed drinks with this, with both of them. I had to get that going Ooh, this weekend. Oh, those ribs. Ooh, excuse me. Oh, yeah, we could do some ribs and some some mixed drinks and some mead. Mead drinks. Mixed meat drinks. Mead cocktails. Okay. Meh. All of the above. I like mixed drinks because it's hard to say and it's a stupid play on words. <laughs> I guess then on that note, uh, I guess we'll find out if TK Drinks is going to start carrying these guys or not. So stay tuned for that information. Thank you to the folks up at Big Loss Matery for supplying us with our product for our awesome review show tonight. We'll definitely be in touch. Um... Yeah. <laughs> Have a great day, great day, great day, great day, great day. A great, a great, a great, thing. A great thing. Have a great thing wherever you are. Yep. Make your things great. <laughs> Have a good one, everybody. Peace.